James Webb's new discovery about galactic evolution. The vast expanse of the universe has always been a source of fascination for humans, with countless mysteries hidden in its depths waiting to be uncovered. The James Webb Space Telescope has taken the task of unraveling these mysteries upon itself and has recently made an incredible discovery that has left the scientific community in awe. The telescope has uncovered not one, not two, but six massive galaxies that have existed since the first billion years of the universe. These galaxies are unlike any that we've ever seen before, containing billions of stars and appearing more mature than their age would suggest. The question on everyone's mind is, how did these behemoth galaxies grow so big so quickly? The James Webb Space Telescope has truly outdone itself with this discovery, and we're excited to dive deeper into the details of these massive galaxies and the cosmic web that plays such an important role in their formation. Previous Theories About Galactic Evolution Did we ever expect to see massive galaxies as early as that after the Big Bang? Absolutely not. When the universe was formed, it was filled with hot gases and dark matter. Over time, these gases began to cool and clump together to form the first galaxies. These early galaxies were small and didn't have many stars, or at least so we thought. However, over time, they merged with other galaxies and grew bigger, eventually becoming the massive galaxies we see today, or at least we thought. Sometimes galaxies bump into each other and merge, like two families coming together to form a bigger one. These collisions can be violent and chaotic, with stars and gas swirling around in all directions. Scientists used to think that these galactic collisions were the main way that galaxies grew and evolved over time. They believed that the more collisions a galaxy had, the bigger and more complex it would become. The James Webb Space Telescope has discovered six massive galaxies that formed within the first billion years of the universe's existence. These galaxies are massive, containing billions of stars, and are surprisingly mature for their age. They are giving us incredible new insight into the formation of the universe. They are allowing us to see how massive galaxies were able to form so quickly after the Big Bang. Not so trivial, huh? New Theory About Galactic Evolution So how are these massive galaxies able to form so quickly? It turns out that they are able to do so by tapping into the cosmic web. What is that? Just like any web, the cosmic web is a network of dark matter and gas that permeates the universe. The gravity of the dark matter in the web attracts gas, causing it to collapse and form structures. These structures eventually grow into massive galaxies with the dark matter providing the scaffolding for the galaxy to form around it. The gas that collapse into the galaxy is rich in hydrogen and helium, which are the basic building blocks of stars. As the gas collapses, it begins to heat up, triggering nuclear fusion reactions that create new stars. Over time, these stars merge and form even larger ones, eventually leading to the formation of massive galaxies that contain billions of stars. It's like a spider web with galaxies acting as the nodes. Back to our galaxies, these six massive findings are connected to the cosmic web by tendrils, which are straw-like formations that are stuck in matter. These tendrils are part of a mechanism that allows galaxies to grow so fast, and at least one of these mechanisms might have just been confirmed by this recent study. The study used the Atacama Large Millimeter Array, ALMA, in Chile to study one of these massive galaxies and its tendril. To detect galaxy tendrils, ALMA used a technique called spectroscopy, which allows astronomers to study the chemical composition and motion of gas in space. The tendrils are made up of cold, dense gas that is being pulled into a galaxy by its gravitational force. As this gas interacts with the hot, ionized gas in the galaxy, it can create a spectral signature that can be detected by ALMA. Its detectors are sensitive to millimeter and submillimeter wavelengths, which are emitted by the cold gas in the tendrils. When this gas absorbs or emits radiation at these wavelengths, it creates a distinctive signature that can be detected by ALMA's antennas. 
Using this technique, astronomers can map the distribution and motion of gas in and around galaxies, including the tendrils that are being pulled into them. By studying the properties of these gas structures, astronomers can gain insight into the processes that drive galaxy formation and evolution. In addition to spectroscopy, ALMA can also use imaging techniques to create detailed images of the tendrils and the galaxies they are interacting with. These images can reveal the structure and composition of the gas in the tendrils as well as the morphology of the galaxies themselves. They found that the tendril was bringing in vast amounts of gas, which would eventually form new stars. This discovery is important because it confirms that the cosmic web is a key player in the formation of the universe. It is allowing galaxies to grow and evolve in ways that we didn't previously understand. But here's the really exciting part. The researchers also found evidence that the tendrils are part of the cosmic web. This is a vast network of invisible interconnected filaments that stretch across the entire universe. It's thought that these filaments are responsible for connecting galaxies together and helping to shape the large-scale structure of the universe. The discovery of this tendril provides some of the first direct evidence that the cosmic web is not just a theoretical concept, but a real physical structure that can be observed and studied. And it also provides new insights into how galaxies form and evolve over time. Case Study one study that sheds light on this process was conducted by a team of astronomers led by Nicolas Boucher of the Astrophysics Institute of Paris. The study, published in the journal Nature in 2013, used the Atacama Large Millimeter Submillimeter Array ALMA, in Chile to observe a distant galaxy known as BRI 1335-0417. BRI 1335-0417 is a so-called submillimeter galaxy, meaning that it emits most of its light in the submillimeter range of the electromagnetic spectrum. These galaxies are extremely distant and appear as faint smudges in the sky, but they are also among the most rapidly star-forming objects in the universe. Using ALMA, Boucher and his team were able to study the gas in and around BRI 1335-0417 in unprecedented detail. They discovered that the galaxy was surrounded by a vast halo of gas that extends for tens of thousands of light years. This halo was being fed by tendrils of gas flowing along the cosmic web, which were funneling matter into the galaxy and driving its rapid star formation. These straw-like structures of gas flowing along the cosmic web are thought to be the remnants of the primordial gas that filled the universe in the aftermath of the Big Bang. As the universe expanded and cooled, this gas gradually clumped together under the influence of gravity, eventually forming the cosmic web we observe today. When a tendril of gas encounters a galaxy, it can trigger the formation of new stars by providing the raw materials needed for star formation. In the case of BRI 1335-0417, the tendrils were funneling gas into the galaxy at a rate of about 100 solar masses per year, driving its rapid star formation. The tendrils of gas also play a crucial role in regulating the growth of galaxies. As the gas flows into the galaxy, it can trigger the formation of new stars, but it can also drive powerful outflows of gas and dust that can prevent further star formation. These outflows can be so powerful that they expel gas from the galaxy altogether, halting its growth and preventing it from becoming too massive. So what does all of this mean for our understanding of the universe? Well, it suggests that the cosmic web may play a much larger role in the formation and evolution of galaxies than we previously thought. It also provides new avenues for exploring the early universe and the processes that have shaped it over billions of years. But perhaps most importantly, it reminds us of the incredible beauty and complexity of the universe we live in, and the importance of continuing to explore and understand it. As we continue to study and learn about the cosmos, we can't help but be awed by its majesty and inspired to uncover its many mysteries. <laughs>